lovelies. This is Dee Dan, author of Wrapped in Sin. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe below. If you're an existing subscriber, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a clothespin uh, sunflower wreath. So let's get started. You're going to need a wire wreath. This is 14 inch. Um, which you can get from any craft store. This one I actually got from the Dollar Tree. You'll need some burlap ribbon. This one here is about two inches. A bundle of sunflowers. This I happen to get from Hobby Lobby. Um, of course, I got it on sale. And you'll need a bunch of clothespin. Um, Walmart actually has the best price on them. You can get a pack of 100 for about two bucks, where if you got it from the Dollar Tree, um, you only get 25 to a pack for a dollar. You'll need some paint, the Kona Brown, some Marigold, and of course some clear to we'll need some glue I'm gonna be using the Gorilla glue tube here I seem to work better with that or you can use your uh, glue gun Go ahead and do first is take the um, clothespin out and start painting that in the brown and then also in the gold Clothespin are going to go ahead and get sprayed with the Kona Brown. Step is to spray it with the Marigold. Now that we're done painting all of the clothespins in gold and brown, um, we're going to go ahead and attach it to the uh, wire wreath. What you want to do is start clipping it. See how each clothespin has two notches, one in the front here and one in the back? So what I'm going to do is start with this first one, clipping it to land on the back notch. In the first ring here, on the very inner circle first ring, I'm going to attach it down like so. Can you see that? So I'm going to slide it down in the middle there. With the next clothespin, I'm going to go ahead and attach it to land in the, on the second one as well, but I'm going to attach it to the top second ring because I want it to kind of not lay flat against each other. So it's going to look like this, like so, kind of at an angle with each other. And you're going to alternate with each one the same way. You want to push them somewhat close together so that you can fit all of the clothespins into that section and have no gaps. So that's what it's going to look like, like so. That finished one section, and with the very next section, I'm going to start out with the same way, by alternating it. And I'm going to keep doing that until it's completely full. This is what it looks like when it's all full, and now we're going to attach the uh, gold on there. Now, just so you know, if you get any clothespins, because I got a few that were damaged or um, that came out of the packet a little messed up um, and were crooked and such, that's okay. All you have to do is use those in a particular section. Um where you're going to cover it with the accessories. So just make sure that if you end up with any of the clothespins that 
have flaws and weren't perfect, just make sure you set those aside so that you can put them in one section together so when we go to uh, add the bow, it can hide underneath that and um, you won't even be able to know that there was a flaw to it. You can use the gold clothespins um, and attach it to the second to the last rim and they're all going to lay on that particular wire set. Go ahead, since this one is a lower brown, I'm going to go ahead and attach the gold on the second notch down so that it will be, the height in a sense will be lowered as well. My very next one, I'm going to attach it with this, uh, the first notch here to sit up. And it's going to rest right behind the very next one. What I find is that if you attach the first notch underneath the second wire here where it's supposed to go and just slide it directly underneath, it makes it so much easier. And, and you want to go ahead and alternate it the same way. Same concept. Second notch and first. Now it's going to be loose at first, but not to worry because as you fill it in, it's going to sit a little bit tighter together. See how that looks so far? And I'm going to go ahead and fill in the rest. See how it alternates to kind of match the alternation with the brown? So I'm going to go ahead and fill out the rest and then we're going to go ahead and decorate it with the accessories. Now that the clothespins have all been added, I'm going to go ahead and attach the um, bow next and I'll show you how I'm going to make it just in case if you don't know how. I went ahead and cut a strip of ribbon that's 45 inches and what you want to do is take one side, cross it over like so take another side and cross it over. You want to balance it out where it's almost about the same size ribbon. Take this bottom and create another loop over here to end about the same as this edge. And then you're going to cross it over in the back, bring it up, bring it up and cross it over the front, like so. See that? And this is how the bow's going to look. What you want to do is just hold it there, pinch it a little bit together in the center, take a floral wire, center it off like that, and tie the back real tightly together or twist the back. Make sure you secure it real tight so that the bow doesn't come loose. And then just twist it a few times. Adjust the bow. This is what the bow looks like once the back has been twisted off. We're going to go ahead and insert it into the wreath. And I'm going to put it in the area, I've chosen the area where there's that little blemish that I had mentioned earlier. 
You can either cut off the excess floral wire and glue it onto the wreath or take the excess, figure out where you want to insert it and slip it in between the clothespins and tie it off into the back. Uh, I slipped it through one of the wire loops in between the clothespins. I'm going to twist it together and secure it. Instead of cutting off the excess uh, floral wire, I just went ahead and left mine alone. And I'm just going to twist it around this frame on the edge here. And that's what it looks like. And that's what my bow is going to look like on the front. Now I'm going to go ahead and attach the flower. I forgot to angle the edge of my ribbon here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that real fast. And with my bouquet of sunflowers, all I'm going to do is just pop it right off of the stem. Go ahead and put some glue on the back and glue it down the center. Next step is to attach a um, little ribbon on the top to be able to hang the wreath. This one's about 7 eighths of an inch and I'm going to cut about maybe 14 inches of the ribbon um, to be able to hang it. Here's the final sunflower clothespin wreath. Please like this video and subscribe below. Once again, my name is Dee Din, author of Wrapped in Sin. If you enjoy reading smutty comedy romance, please check it out. It is available at Apple iTunes, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and other retailers. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye, my lovelies.